The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Friday on this 17th day of June. Well, we have a lot of good information on this video for you this morning. For instance, the National Weather Service, just as we were making this, came out with a heat advisory for today as the heat index surges well into triple digits. We'll talk about how high that's going to go. And by the way, Montgomery's record high for the day is 100. And, uh, you know, we're going to be sort of in that neighborhood, maybe just a little shy of that. We'll also talk about, what do I always tell you? Big heat can cause big storms. Yeah, I'm worried about a frontal system coming in that could fuel the fire for some uh, very strong storms in parts of central Alabama later on today. We'll talk about the Storm Prediction Center's marginal risk and an update on your weekend forecast for here and the Gulf Coast beaches. If you're ready, I'm ready, and here we go. The big player on the map is the blue line north of Nashville, the cool front, which will kind of backdoor into our area from the north and northeast later on today, uh, well, this evening, tonight, and uh, early in the day tomorrow. The heat advisory that was just issued as we're making this video, I mean just issued, for central and south Alabama is pretty significant. It indicates uh, some excessive heat today, and there's the frontal system at 7 o'clock tonight, uh, nosing into northeast Alabama. Some strong thunderstorms out ahead of it. In fact, uh, future radars suggest that. Take a look at uh, north Alabama, north of the I-20 corridor. Now, this goes to about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and you can see some strong storms developing. We're going to have to watch as they edge into central Alabama during the evening hours, and that's why the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather. There could be some damaging wind gust. These shows will put uh, these storms will put on quite a show with lots of lightning as well. When you have heat like this in the upper 90s, and by the way, our record high is 100 in Montgomery today, low tonight 74. Scattered storms become strong. Heat index 105 to 108. There's the front tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, nosing into south and southwest Alabama. Chance of showers are, is small tomorrow. I'll leave in a small chance. Sunday, I'll have to leave in a chance down at the beach of some showers. And then on Monday, uh, summer officially begins at 5.34 p.m. I think Monday's going to be relatively low humidity with a high around 90 for the first day of summer. The, the, the National Hurricane Center watching the Bay of Campeche over the next few days. 20% chance of tropical development there. We'll be watching that. In fact, later in the month, the chances actually get better down there. 98 today, not too far from the record. 40% chance of maybe some strong storms, a slight chance of a shower tomorrow, then uh, lower humidity on Sunday, Father's Day, with a high in the upper 80s, 67 on Monday morning, not bad on the first day of summer. Good chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. Then you see some re uh, some relief over the weekend and that nice Monday morning as the graph dips down. And then maybe some showers mid to late week next week as temperatures soar again into perhaps the upper 90s. There's the GFS showing upper 90s today. And then uh, we get a little heat relief on Sunday. And then uh, temperatures soar again next week. A lot of heat. Hey, thanks to Lisa at Lake Martin. Lisa always sends us these beautiful pictures. This was as a storm was coming into the Lake Jordan area last night, right around sunset. Beautiful. Uh, Lisa, we always love your pictures. We hope you keep sending them our way. They are simply stunning, no doubt. Hey, so this is the Blue Water Weather Center. This is where I broadcast every day at 11 o'clock, video and audio. There are two TV cameras here, a couple of weather computers there. A video switcher there so I'm actually it's a working weather center slash studio and of course we've got the monitor there and all kinds of weather data coming in here this is also the place where I'll be broadcasting live during severe weather yeah wall-to-wall -wall coverage a lot of hours Bailey will be in this office right here and not only uh, on your phone and on your computer but also on the eight radio station group there's a studio right over there, there's a studio there, there's a studio there. We're loaded with studios here, and I'm kind of in the epicenter of Blue Water Broadcasting here. Anyway, join me at 11 o'clock this morning for your live update at uh, richthomasweathernetwork.com, and your next complete video will be online Monday morning at 5 a.m., but there'll be weather posts during the weekend on Facebook and on Twitter, and I'll be live on the radio starting at 6 o'clock on News Talk 93.1, which is the building the room right up there, and on the Bama Country, which is the room right over there, and on KISS FM, which is the room right over there. You got all that? All right, there'll be a test later. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll be watching the radar this afternoon for strong thunderstorms. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.